How's it going guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros and I am here with the cable management video that I promised you all. So as you can see right now, I got my PC laid out right here. Um, I'm going to be doing just videos from back here. So I'm going to like reach and show you and point stuff, use my hand or whatever. So I'm sorry you don't get to see my beautiful face in this video, but let's get right into it. Roll the intro. Right, guys so first off I'm going to explain in order certain things that I believe are most important when it comes to cable management so you see these systems out there I've gotten some systems sent to us from the toasty bros toasty cribs uh, series and some of the setups are like really really crazy because if you can tell some people have these power cables just laying all over the place um, they have just cables just everywhere and it really bothers me i'm kind of i used to be that way when it came to my older systems but nowadays i'm all about cable management because it gives you best airflow better cooling and it just looks better um i don't have the best by any means because i have a non-modular power supply and to explain the difference real quick between that a modular power supply comes with the connectors you need come like plugged in and then the ability to take out the ones you don't non-modular has all these tangling like octopus looking cables coming out of it and you can't really do much just like as you can tell right here there's all these extra ones that you have to hide somewhere so i do recommend if you want your system to look the best it can get a non-modular power supply not a non-modular my bad a modular power supply it's all it's it blurs dude um but a modular one it is more expensive most of the time but it is a good option to get i really recommend it so let's get right into this first thing is the 24 pin power connector right here what i see people do all the time i'm not going to unplug anything right now i'm really not going to try to get into that i see people with this connector right here this is your 24 pin power connector this connector most people come out of the power supply and just wrap it around and plug it in right here there is such a better way to do this okay i will turn the system around and show you there are routing holes on your case right here here and here depending on your case it may be different but there these routing holes would be great for routing cables from the inside and back out so i'll go back to the front again make sure i get this in the view okay so back in the front again what i do for my 24 pin is i run it from here through the bottom routing hole through the back and out through this side and when it comes out to this side you have most of the cable behind the case and it's out of the way and you do not see it at all so that's a great way to manage your cables and that's a trend that you'll see throughout this video also another thing that you need to be able to route is your cpu power connector which is the connector i don't know if you'll be able to see it right up here it's a eight pin well this one's actually a four pin but it can be an eight pin a four pin CPU power connector, it's right up here. And which, with that connector, you um, it can be difficult. That's basically the best way to word it. I have to go around to the other side to show you that. I really need to get like a swivel thing for this. It'll make it so much easier. Um, but this connector sometimes on certain power supplies is not long enough. And it's, see regular length, as you can tell if I take this adapter off, I can probably just take it off real quick. <sighs> oh, never mind. I'm not gonna try and take it off um because it's probably stuck in there but th with this cable um it's not long enough to reach all the way up there and be able to plug in so i got an adapter for a four pin and i plug it into the cpu which that's really all i need power wise right now um i could go back to an eight pin i don't really see much of a difference um but now that i think about it that might be a good idea i might need to get an eight pin adapter but um that's what i did I, you can buy one of those for like two or three something bucks somewhere they're really cheap um just buy one of those adapters they're like cable extenders you can do that for a bunch of different things if you have certain cables that you want to route but you need extensions for them just buy an extender online for each cable they're all over the place okay let's go back to the front here all right so next on the list is our gpu power connector which the gpu power connector is kind of a pain to deal with um just because it depends on your GPU. Uh, the GPU can 
will either range from having two A pins to two four pins to so many other possible connectors. And the best way I say to do cable management for them is the same way that you do for the other connectors. Run it through and come out the back and whatever hole is closest, do it that way. Sometimes you might need to pull it and tighten it a little bit more to like get as little cable as possible in there, but sometimes you can only do so much. And when it comes to that situation, the only thing you can really do is just limit it as much as you can. Okay, next off, you need to worry about your extra cables. Um, extra cables as in like Molex connectors that you do not use um, or just any other cables. So the best suggestion I have is to just tuck them any way you possibly can. Um, I recommend tucking them underneath this uh, routing hole right here and putting them through the back, getting some cable ties or twist ties or whatever. I'll show you my solution if I could turn it around. I got a couple twist ties right here to hold this stuff down. This was already uh, cable managed by my case actually. Um, and there's little holes right here you can route stuff with and tie it off. And that's the best way I have. I can honestly do a better job. I got, because I could do more with this system now that I think about it, I probably should. Um, but mostly it's the tuck and see what you can. Certain cases you can't really do much with. And that's a struggle because certain areas like this and this, like, like there's not that many options in certain cases. Like this case is a pretty decent case. If you're wondering what it is, it's a Cooler Master Half 912. Um, it's a pretty nice case. It has good cable management, basically, um, but it could be better, honestly. Um, the other thing I would suggest that I basically do not have really good experience with is managing these kind of fan cables. There's really not much you can do. Those things are gonna poke out and do whatever unless you get some kind of fan um, module, uh, module blah, a fan controller that you can put in the back of your uh, case and do it that way, which I mean, that's another option, but that's like really going the extra mile and buying something. So if you really want the best and cleanest system, I would probably get something like that. Um, but yeah, this system, um, it's okay. Cable management wise, it can be better. I'm not an expert in cable management, but I just thought I'd pass around a couple tips that I had. Um, my tips are base, pretty basic. There's some other things that you could do. Um, basically my main recommendation is to get a modular power supply when you're building a PC. Um, if you want cable management, uh, that's the easiest way to do it is to limit those extra cables. Cause that's the hardest thing you have to deal with. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, but that's really it. And do those tips, route some cables and put them in the back, utilize your back panel. Cause that's what people do not utilize. They have this area, but they don't utilize it route stuff and leave it back here so you can just you grab the back panel and close it off and it will be hidden and you will have no issues at all and your airflow will be a lot better and possibly better temp so if you have some issues with your temperatures try managing your cables a little bit and making them a little tidier and see if that helps out um so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys learned something if you haven't then well just leave a like and tell me that I did pretty good. I think I did pretty good. Um, but leave a like if you have any suggestions. Leave them in the comments below. Um, I plan to do more videos like this in the future. Um, but this is a first for me. And this is a first type of video I've done for this channel. So I plan to do stuff like this. Certain small tips. Um, whatever knowledge I know, I'll pass it on. If you have any questions or anything you want to know how to do, I can most likely make a video for it. But just feel free to ask. Um... But I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful day.